about having, well, why don't we have an evening group? And I said, well, if you want to start it, I think that sounds great. So five years ago, she started it. But I said, if you volunteer, or you're asking about it, maybe you should lead it. And she's done an awesome job. And we've had, it's been an interesting five years. Yes. We've, um, five years ago, because I work a day job, I'm a contract auditor by day. Um, when I met Jennifer, I have a travel business because I was traveling all the time as a contract auditor, and I was so I have a travel business because I I know the business. Yes. And now I own my my own agency to help other people travel and enjoy themselves. So I met Jennifer and started networking. I joined three different TTR networking groups because as a travel agent, I can help anyone anywhere. Yes. Um, after a while of being in those three groups, and it was South Side, Central, and Carmel. <laughs> we were going all over the place. I was like, but I live on the Far East Side. Said, Jennifer, there's not a group on the Far East Side. Yeah, well, why don't you start one, dog? <laughs> 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 So um, <laughs> I really took what I thought were best practices from each of those groups. That's great. Um, we met at um, a shared networking uh, building out in Greenfield called Collaborate 317. So I named the group Collaborating oh, Connections. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was our first location. Um, Collaborate 317 closed down and we started meeting in a Donato's Pizza party room mm -hmm. on the east side of the Indy. And um, then COVID hit and we started going virtual. We started doing the Zoom and it was really cool because with Zoom, we get to connect with people all over. It's, it's not the geographical limitation. So we have uh, been enjoying this. That's amazing. Yeah. Nancy was in one of those first three groups that, that I was uh, involved with on the South Side. And then she stopped uh, networking for a little while and, and then came back. And uh, you heard how I met Dion. Yes. I met Nicole through, through Jennifer and yep. the um, video cast. Yeah, yeah. We were, yeah. We were doing um, authentic networking podcasts with all of our yeah. members, so we got to know the members really good and had a chance to highlight them and post that online so they could use that for their marketing and um, other people could, you know, get a, a truer sense of who they were and what they were about, what types of people they were looking to be connected to. So, uh, so yeah, we did that for, for quite a while. Well, we're at 49 episodes. We want our- We're holding firm for the 50th. Our 50th is our, <laughs> our fearless leader of the collaborating connections. <laughs> but we've actually kind of transitioned into uh, TPR Presents, and it's kind of the same idea, but it's collaboration of different part, different members and, and it's live and it's live it's and then we we record it but anyway but 50 so, is still being you know yeah until, we will do we will 50 for on, sure but and, and, until we do number 50 but <laughs> if you ever look back on what we <laughs> what we've actually put out there it's pretty amazing all the members in the different industries and we usually have we have about a hundred people at any point that's involved that are involved with uh, ptr so um and it's been you've had you've had you've just had your ups and downs of groups yeah. i mean and members that have people people come join for a while, they either get out of business or um, they change their schedule and, you know, our evening doesn't work for them any longer or, um, you know, for various reasons, people move on, new members come in, yes. which keeps things kind of fresh because our monthly topics are um, familiar. We, we've had you know, like this is October and uh -huh. 
outrageous, outrageous. Is that it? It's out well, of out of, out of, out of marketing. We've said outrageous before too, just out of you know, out of the normal stuff, out of the box marketing. So, so. But as as we meet new and different people, they always have something new and different to mm -hmm. contribute to the conversation. So, um, for the sake of our listening audience as well, because we're recording this and we'll share this on on YouTube and and on social media. Um. It's, it's really the great thing about TTR networking is, you know, you never know who the next person knows who could be your next contact, client, partner, whatever. So as we get together on a weekly basis and we're talking about, we're introducing ourselves and our business and, and what type of people we're looking to be connected with, we're also helping each other with, you know, issues, you know, if somebody's got a problem in their business, it's likely that another entrepreneur has had that same struggle and that they may have an idea, a resource, something mm -hmm. that, that can help out. Or, you know, when we talk about the marketing ideas, you know, and everybody talks about what they've seen, um, it, it may be something that they've utilized, it may be something else that they've seen on social media and they're sharing it. And as the wheels are turning in our own heads, we're thinking about, hey, that might work for me, or I could tweak it this way. Um, the fact that even though we're in a satellite group, we get to connect with all of those other groups during our quarterly, uh, uh, what do we call that? Speed networking, which yeah. was supposed to be on Monday, but we only had four people sign up. So we were like, okay, we've got so many other things coming up with this and, <laughs> Dion was, was, she's been signing up for everything. So that's really cool. But I felt bad. But then I thought, you know, even if we, even if we just did one big group session, even four people, and it was some unknown new name. So I'm not, I'm not thinking, you know, I'm hoping that we can keep that connection going, but, but the, the speed, net, ugh, sorry, the quarterly speed networking we did in person prior to um, pandemic and Nancy, you maybe went to a couple of those <coughs> and they were fairly well attended. That before COVID scared us all, um, <laughs> you know. I mean, but it, it literally, I think the last one we had, and you're all probably gonna say, How do you know that? Because I just had dental work done, I was miserable. But it was March the 16th, I think, was when they closed the world down. And we had an event that we were supposed to have our quarterly speed networking that day. And I had people right and left texting me saying, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be there. I can't take a chance. I'm getting sick, blah, 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 blah. You know, and I'm like, okay, I canceled. I was happy to cancel because I didn't feel good. But I was bummed because that really was three years, almost three years ago that, that week in March. It was awful. But we've had them. And a couple, I maybe you and Nancy have been on, maybe, I don't think Dion has been on, you, you mm -hmm. haven't on any of this work, no, because it's during the day, but um, we've had a fairly good turnout, but this one, for some reason, now we were supposed to do it in October, mm -hmm. no, sorry, September, mm -hmm. so that may have thrown off people's schedules too, but, but that speed networking is just like speed dating, if mm -hmm. you've ever, I've never done that, but if you've ever done that, that whole idea of you, you get a couple, you know, about what, a minute, two minutes, whatever, to share um, your little elevator pitch, take questions, whatever, and you're in, we put them in breakout rooms. When the breakout room thing worked, I'm looking at Nicole, because oh. the last <laughs> time you were on and it didn't work. Well, um, at, well, actually, you had it down. It was Zoom, went through some transformation. Okay, but you were then it saying, I think things. you need to pay for it. I'm like, I don't, I, here we are. I'm not going to go pay for it now. We didn't, but we didn't have that joke. Was that early on? <laughs> no, 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 no. This oh. was the, yeah, because this so was when they cut everything um because they were so generous with you know upping the time to 40 minutes and they would cut you off. But I think that at some point they had to. So you think the breakout room, does anybody know that? Breakout room? No, I know the breakout room. I don't know if it was the breakout room. Yeah, so I I had set up breakout rooms for all of my we have three accounts for the for the TTR world because we have so many people using them for different groups and stuff. But I swear to God, it was like the day that we're doing this, and this was um, would have been in June, because mm -hmm. it was it's always 
every quarter, but we're sitting on there and, and I'm like, oh, it's going to be fine. And then I'm looking to try to find the breakout rooms because you literally can put people in groups. We probably had 20 people or something on, which would have made a really, were you on that, Nancy? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just thinking poor Nancy was probably on there. But, <laughs> but it worked out okay because almost every time we've done that, we get a mix. Those are free. Those are free events. Our members do get benefits that other people don't, but for those events, it's free. You jump on, you meet maybe a handful of new people. Then it's really, you know, our network, I do say over and over again, I want people to get to know each other. So speed dating, speed networking, dating, whatever, um, is really almost kind of contra contradicting that if you don't do something with those so, contacts. Uh, and you even say that. You're like, the fortune is in the bottle. I didn't make that up, you know. Oh, but know. <laughs> but know. the whole idea that you just, you know, you've taken, we're usually about an hour for that. It's lunch, yeah. you know, but it's literally, you've just connected with a bunch of people. Done. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we've, we've, we've been very fortunate. We've got a really nice group of people that are part of us. And the people that aren't so nice kind of find a way, Ray. They leave and then some of them come back. Nancy lives in Westfield and she went all the way down to the south side to go to that south side group for a couple of years. I think that's when you guys did. Don, I know you have a plan for your meeting here, but I just, I would say when you're with a group, we've been in existence 11 years. Um, we've had things like Nancy who's, who's gone away and come back. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. It's very cool. <laughs> I saw it. Go back. <laughs> How do we get rid of her? No, no, no. no it's, it's, it is a, it has been very fortunate that the good people have, you know, come back or, or found their way back. But they also, people have switched industries. People have, uh, people have retired. I mean, you know, you're thinking, well, that doesn't happen. No, it does. I mean, you know. Huh? Who retired? They um, Gail Honky from our North Side group literally retired. She and I started the original group. Um, 10 years ago, whatever, and she told me, <laughs> maybe it was a year ago, because Kim Williams took over her spot, but anyway, it, it, she told me she was retiring, and she made it sound like she was going to stay around our group, like she was going to, and all of a sudden, the new year starts, she, she's gone, I can't even send her email, she's gone, she is retired, and she's grandmother again, and she's loving it, but then you've got people that retire, people that move into different jobs, and you just have to know that that's the natural progression. Certainly, we want people to get business that they cannot get otherwise, but when they get business like that, the, the big challenge is how do you tell them not to go and leave us? Not your community. <laughs> but, you know, like a handyman service or something, they come, they get so busy, and then they leave. Mm -hmm. And you're like, you know what? How do you, how do you, um, what is the word? Communicate with people that that may not always be the case, and you need to. So, no matter what you're doing with the networking, you know that you get to do that. But it's just you've got to keep, you got to keep your foot in the networking world somehow. And even if you get busy, you've got to carve out that time where you're going to be, you're going to be sorry. There are people who, in all of, all of our industries that have said, you know, like the right now, real estate and mortgage and finance, they're struggling. Um, they're struggling a lot. And yeah, can, people are still selling houses. People are still buying houses. People are still fine, you know, doing financial stuff, but you just have to, you know, 
stick with it all the day. Anyway, I just say that your group has has maintained. I swear <coughs> to God, it seems longer than five years. Really? Now. Yes. It really does. With all the things and all the people that have come along and come all back. the different unique okay. things. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and come back. <laughs> Okay, we're done with that joke. It got old real fast. But anyway, take it away, Don. So this is a celebration. Yeah. It's, it's been a achievement because every group that starts doesn't survive, doesn't it? Strong. There are some that you know crew members do uh, move on and the, the people that survive it. I'm very thankful that, that you, even though we've lost some folks, we still have others that are still here. And something that's happening with our crew is the start of the new And the start of the new generation that who wanted to be able to take on some of those, those individuals who would have had a day job, who would have day jobs to, to pay the bills, but wanted to have that entrepreneurial endeavor and cultivate it and make it successful. So we, we continuously talk to the membership and say, you know, does this time work? Is this going to, you know, continue okay? Because now you're cutting into folks' family time and relaxation after the nine to five or whatever. But for those who are committed to that that dream or what they see, Focusing on their entrepreneurial endeavor, we want to be there as a support for people and a resource for this team of people to help them have some success. So remember, I hope you know you in five years, another five years down the road, we're we're celebrating again. The, the, the faces may be a little bit different, some may be the same, but. You know, I hope that everybody can see and feel that being a part of the group has been beneficial, rewarding, um, you know, and, and still renewed with your staff. Okay, so uh, that's it. Thank you all so much for being a part of it for five years. It was more or less, and uh, let's just keep it going. want to share in the recording so that we, we post that on social media because we give everybody an opportunity to introduce themselves and talk a little bit about their business and talk a little bit about what type of a referral or connection you're looking for. So um, when we're on Zoom, I just point out folks say, hey, hey, Jennifer, are you ready to introduce yourself <laughs> in your business? <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, yes, I'm Jennifer Johnson. I can usually like duck out or mute my screen or my voice or something. Can't do that when we're live. Um, Jennifer Johnson, I am um, the founder of TTR Networking, which stands for To the Rescue Networking. And I had a business coach one time tell me that was stupid. And I said, oh, well, <laughs> I'm not going to change it. So, um, and I don't know. But the rescue, we have a thing up there that kind of talks about what the rescue is actually. All the letters stand for something. Yes, there he is, my, my uh, trusty, dusty yeah, assistant. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but um, so I am a relationship marketing coach. Um, and basically, I help you stay top of mind with your clients, your customers, your, or whatever you call them, your members, your um, patients, whatever it is, um, your team, your, all that good stuff. Um, and it's, you know, we, we need to be top of mind, especially, it depends on what you're doing, what you're selling and, you know, or what your services are. People may not need you today, but they're going to need you sometime. So it's keeping you top of mind, helping you position, helping position you to stay top of mind. So I have a number of tools and networking happens to be one of them. Um, if, you know, I used to kind of apologize 
for us meeting once a month or once a week. And I, I literally, there were times at the beginning, I'm like, yeah, why do we do that? And then as life has got, you know, the years have gone on and all these, it's like, because we all get to know each other really, really mm -hmm. well. And you're not, now some of the other not working, and if you've not done, any, I don't know what you've done. I'm just saying, if you go out, there are restrictions, or, or not restrictions, but a lot of rules about, you know, you have to you have to be here so many, you know, if you're not here, um, and I, we don't care what the excuse is, you know, you're gonna, you've got one or two, you know, two misses and then you're out. Um, and some of those organizations have very dedicated members and they all, but we're not about that. We're trying to be more about who you are and what you're doing. And then, I mean, you first and then your job and then your all that kind of stuff. But um, anyway, so um, I, I would like to believe we are all about relationships. And if you think about rescue, the, the first letter is R and it's relationships. So we're all building that, but we do meet weekly. Most of our groups do. We do have special events like this. And um, so who do you know that's out there that needs that? Um, you know, who's during the pandemic, groups like ours, I think, kept kind of kept the light on. You know, a lot of people, we had people in our membership that literally um, were in hospitality or whatever, and they didn't know if they had a job the next day, let alone, you know, next week. Mm -hmm. um, they were taking it one day at a time. And I, I we did and I don't want to sound like it wasn't wasn't wonderful on our end, but we had people in groups that literally hadn't paid for a little while, but they were trying to find a job. Mm -hmm. And um, people and you know leaders were saying, "Is it okay?" And I'm like, "Absolutely, we need to put these people in. You know, we need to have that um, that be that beacon or something." That sounds pretty big, but you know what I'm saying. That's that, helpful resource. That, and I think we. I think we were. We did lose some members and we lost some leaders um, that could not handle it. Not Dawn. She <laughs> trudged on through. I mean, really, you've had a, there have been some, some meetings that I know have been, you know, you've had your challenges during the day and then you've done your thing in the evening. And I really appreciate that but very much. Um, so anyway, I'm just um, happy to you know, if you've got somebody or, you know, if this evening thing doesn't work, it works for most people that are here probably because they're here. But if it doesn't, we do have other groups. Mm -hmm. So and that's one of our. But this is the best group. This is the best group. <laughs> She's trying to push those. I know. <laughs> I know. We get, on, <laughs> we get on the calls on Tuesday nights. and But, you know, this is the best group. Oh, it's the best group now if i'm talking to the other group on thursday <laughs> afternoon they're the best group now it's wink, it, wink. but it's it is i mean <laughs> yes it is a great group to be part of and dawn always comes with with stuff to share and it isn't it isn't really though dawn you just dumping a bunch of stuff it's everybody contributing okay. i mean i was just thinking i don't think i've ever met robert in in person I don't think I've ever met him in person. It's always been on Zoom. I was thinking. All right, Robert. Find you, Robert. He was with another club before, though. Well, he did. He was in the one of the. Yeah, he was. So, but anyway, it's just it's really nice to get together. And most of our groups are meeting like once a month. They're having a gathering now. You actually have a Georgia member. Yes, member out of Georgia. And so, and and um, had had a member out of uh, shoot Michigan, Michigan, Michigan. Yeah, but I, I got to see her this past week. I saw, I, I, I saw that. I saw that. So that's, that's cool. Really, yeah. But those are the kind of. Th I mean, you know, it's it's working with your member. But our some of our groups are. It's easier to do that with where you can actually meet once a month or something somewhere. But. Who do you know that's out there needs a networking organization or, you know, just wants to connect with people because there's a lot of people out there who don't know what to do. Right now. So Absolutely. We're here, but thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're does welcome. anyone have any questions for Jennifer? <laughs> this is what, what she does. Yes. No, but I have a question for you. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Ask her away. <laughs> well, something that comes to mind because you were saying all the people in different places. Um, Danielle, how did Danielle... Um, visited your group from the Netherlands, right? Yeah. All the way to the Netherlands. Did she know somebody in your yes. group? 
the funny thing, Bryn Cochran, who oh, yeah. is our um, auto, home, and commercial insurance specialist. Yeah. Bryn is, is uh, she's so busy with her business, but so committed to our networking group. When she can't be attending the group, she sends um, her virtual assistant who knows her business to a degree, um, who can share her information, yeah. what she's focusing on, um, any new happenings. So her virtual assistant who was visiting with us mm -hmm. had a connection with Danielle in the Netherlands. Oh, so wow. literally the other side of the world, she shared with Danielle, um, you know, what our networking group was about. And Danielle logged into the Zoom and, and started to, to share with us. And what a great connection. And, and amazing because Danielle became part of the masterminds. And then helped you with the Ignite program. Yeah. And also, um, she and I exchanged services. So my blogging, I've shared with her. And she shared with me her ketogenic integrative health. And just amazing. Just things that I've accomplished from that. Isn't that amazing? I think, yeah. You know? It, yeah. Just, and I'm sure. It, mm -hmm. Yeah, she and I, I just enjoyed her. <laughs> I yes, just liked her. I so I kind of like, I'm going to keep that door open. So <laughs> then I, I can, well, it, it's not so me. Thankful. It's like just, I think. yeah, but it's everybody is, can, you, you just don't know who, I can't speak. Yeah. You don't know who people yeah. know. Mm -hmm. And if you, yeah, certainly you need to, to be kind of targeting you know. who you're trying to connect okay. with, you know, and Time. go to groups. But when you She's get anyway. to, and I don't know what amount of networking you're doing, you know, but when you're in a group, you know, like, Nancy, you don't even know what Nancy does, but when Nancy goes, she, you know, you have to educate people, right? Everybody has to educate people so that they know who it is you're looking for. You don't know that when you first arrive at a networking event, but the more that you, if you join a group, we'd certainly love to have you. But as you join and you get to know the people, then you can start, you know, every week you educate them a little bit more. You don't try to dump it all on them at one time because they'll they'll glaze over and say, what, you're a freight broker, what? <laughs> what? You were just, you were color street, what? what? You know, but when you hear about it and you understand, you know, you start learning and then you can, but anyway, all I'm saying is it. I'm very happy that, you know, she is, connected yeah. with everybody really and she i don't know if everybody knows that but her husband just died what about a month ago mm -hmm. yeah very well, that's another thing when you get to know people on that uh, more personal basis um stuff happens when someone's missing from our meeting if, if they haven't told me ahead of time that they're not coming, then I want to follow up and like, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it used on? to be like if Nancy, Nancy always showed up. But if Nancy <laughs> didn't show up, what we, we, you know, I mean, some people might have said, she's not here, where is she? You know, some groups, I would be saying, where's Nancy? Oh my gosh, or Dawn would be saying that. Exactly. Um, but we didn't know Danielle's husband, but we definitely well, I don't know. I didn't even... hear right away. I saw it on social media and I remember I had like missed it by like three days. And I couldn't because we talk, you know, I every night I do like a journal that for her for like my food and my gratitude. And I was um, a little bit behind. And um, and then I noticed that usually she'll comment on them, you know, like great job or you know, try this or and uh and then the morning that I was, you know. Just check it. I've been looking up something on, I don't remember what Facebook had popped up. And I was like, I messaged you and I was like, please tell me I'm reading this wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, oh, she was there so many. Mm -hmm. so, she oh, went to the so Netherlands so. because of yeah, this job, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is sad. She's pretty awesome. And I think she's going to get more involved with us now. But the only thing is, it's like, what, six hours? Ahead of us. For two weeks, it's going to be five. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So to join Dawn's group in the evening is like what two o'clock in the morning yeah. for her. So that's, yeah, that's it's a little bit time bizarre. Time. But I don't want us to be restricted by. I mean, certainly so we don't expect her to be on a call at two o'clock in the morning. Later, but you know, if we can keep <laughs> the door, the, 
I know it. The opportunity <laughs> open for her whenever she's able. But anyway, Don, take away. Sorry, I okay. didn't kind of monopolize. No, no, I always do. Oh, that's yeah, my yeah, turn. Yeah. Introduce yourself in your business. Yeah, so I'll keep it. I actually, my name is April Rabatakar Al Masri. I know it's not just her. So <laughs> just call what me April. <laughs> yes, yeah, just call me April. And yes, I am in holistic, um, as a wellness and anti aging, gracefully aging business. So what I do, just want to make it simple. Like, really, it became, it started with my passion about like helping people because I'm also a physical therapist by trade. So it's all about like, you know, January is coming. It's all about the New Year's resolution. But I'm not all about that because for me, it's about sustainability. So I help people who are like maybe poor energy. Like at the end of the day, you're just always tired. People that want to rejuvenate, lose weight, release weight, or um, doesn't sleep well, you know, and things like that. So just really detox and stuff like that and just really help people up level themselves so actually i have like in my facebook it says you know my i want to be a vessel of hope to inspire people to become the best versions of themselves because you know i can tell you that this is my best but your best is different right so you just want to help people become healthier but also in a very sustainable way and we have scientifically backed products i use them my husband used them and for me, I just really improved my immune system because I was always sick all the time. So when it comes to networking, I always ask people, generally, I will be just general. Like if you want to like, if I want to, anybody who wants to get healthier, you know, I don't, and the best part of my program is like, I'm not going to change your cabinet. I'm not going to tell you not to eat chocolate. You know what I mean? Oh, thank God. Right? Right? <laughs> I, I believe in sustainability. I'm not like the only old thing, to be honest with you. I, I used to be very, very skeptic about it because I'm like, I, I just want, I want to live, you know, every now and then I want to have cake, a glass of wine and stuff like that. But yeah, so referral wise, I said, who am I looking for? I'm looking for people that are open to the idea of like, I just want to live well. And, you know, in the market, people that own spa, like med spa, people that own the salon, because in the anti-aging world, we're so like, you hear it all the time, collagen here, collagen there, right? Mm -hmm. But we have this amazing product that actually works, <clears throat> and it's actually money back guaranteed. And then gym, small gym, you know, um, small gym owners, you know, people, that yeah, have physical therapy clinic, chiropractors, office, because they have the clientele, mm -hmm. you know, sure. that are looking for it already. And I really, the reason I'm here, I haven't been in networking club in like three years. Mm -hmm. I used to be a member of Waymakers, mm -hmm. and you were talking about not living that club. I still am part of them, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, I really miss in-person event. Um, you know, even if I never get a business, you know, which is ironically, I would say that I'm here looking for business. I just want to be around people that want more out of life, whether it's just relationship, you know, because I always believe, you know, if you pursue your passion, you're going to be great at it. But you want people that will champion your goal, you know, right. you want people that just want to be around you. Like for me, watching you succeed, talk about it, it inspires me to do more. You know, so that's why I'm here. Like, I just want to see what's around there. I want to be, I want to know how it is to be with people again. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> not to go to my parking lot. I was somewhere else. I was having dinner with one of my business partner. And I said, I'm going to now work in club. And I built my business for two years online, mm -hmm. you know. And, you know, as I do Facebook and, you know, just connecting with people that I know, you know. And, but... I said to myself, I have a bigger goal, which is more than, I love Indiana, but to touch more people's lives. But for some reason, my personality is I need to be ignited inside of me. And people like with word. vision, <laughs> like people, word. People, yes, people with vision, people that have that presence, that want to do more at any scale, always inspire me. And I'm going to go home tonight and I'm going to really feel like I can do this again. You know? Good. So thank you so much for, you know, for having an evening event. You're welcome. <laughs> there you go. Yes. And if you have a card, I would definitely yes. suggest that you pass it around so oh, that yes. all these lovely pass ladies through. can follow up with you. Thank you. you have one so I can have one for sure before yes. she gives it to her. Absolutely. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. We're glad you found us. Oh, well, definitely. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Absolutely. So I'm going to open up the phone for questions yes, for you, but I have one already. Cool. <laughs> 
Um, so you mentioned that a product line. Is there a particular company that you're already associated with? And yes. Okay. Is Isogenics. Isogenics. Okay. Yeah. okay. So we um we are open all over the United States, and um again we're open in about twenty more countries, Europe, and then some part of Asia. Okay. Yeah. And do you have a geographical area that you're limited to, or can you not ah, see? Yeah, I, I really, I really <laughs> don't. You know, although like building a team, whether they want to just use the product mm -hmm. um, or want to do what I do, I like to always be around. I want to build local, but everybody, because I do Zoom as well. Yeah. So, okay. Cool. I, I know a young man, he was a former NFL player who uh, has opened the gym um, in Michigan that I want to connect you with. Oh. Yes. So that's you. as you were talking, you know, that's what goes through my mind of who do I who do I know based upon what you're saying that uh, would be a good connection for you. So yes, one of my business partners who actually teaches me um, was for a former football player. Mm -hmm. So we have so many people that are in this industry that's already in the sports and such stuff. Cool. So, thank you. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions for April? I'm just glad to find it. Because you. people, you're welcome. People do sign up for things and they don't think it matters if they come or not. <laughs> it's like that, that I get caught, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, so, but we do have, before we're done tonight, make sure I remind everybody we do have a number of events next week and okay. others coming up. So we make sure that April, as well as I know Dion knows how to find us and Nancy yes. obviously does as well. So, but anyway, great, great work. Right. Yeah, thank you. Juggling. Hey, hey Dion. Hello. Are you ready to introduce yes, yourself? Yes, take it away. Business? Woo! Hello. <laughs> For those of you who don't know me, <laughs> my name is Dion Robinson. <laughs> yes. And I have been part of this group previously. I'm not right now, except for Ignite. I started with the Ignite because I've started a new business. And I just, uh, really, I started it, initiated it last year, but my mom got sick. And so family first, I took care of her and then she passed away. And so now I'm just doing my thing. And so I was like, okay, let me get this started. How networking, well, networking, of course, Dawn, TTR, I mean, it just already there. And then it's like, well, I kind of remember this and remember that, but I needed something to help remind me of the things. So that's why I did uh, the Ignite. And, you know, I do want to get back into the groups. I don't know, evening, or I don't know if someone could persuade me. I don't know. <laughs> 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 getting back into it but um yeah so what i'm doing my business name is tandem legacy transport and the tandem is coming from basically my twins and then also transportation tandem bikes that's that's how we got that and then legacy so um uh, and what i am is a freight broker so a freight broker is connecting businesses to to help get their supplies or their freight to their customers by connecting them with uh, carriers and making sure that their items their products get there safely and timely so that is my uh goal my whole um new endeavor Mm -hmm. And just uh, who I'm looking for is um, the COOs, um, you know, of operations, logistics person of distribution companies, um, supply chain operators. I mean, there's so many different names. Uh, uh, the shipping manager of a place, that's who it would be a great referral. Um, but as far as networking, you know, the relationship building, everything I've learned is, you know, with being in collaborating connections mm -hmm. now. And it's like, oh, every time I meet with uh, Jennifer, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that. But, oh, I can apply it a different way with 
freight brokering. So it has helped. And then, and even with certain things, if I hear somebody, I'll be like, hey, I do know somebody, blah, 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 you know, because I remember they're still in my mind because I got to know them and we would have fun and get to know each other. So that has, it makes me happy seeing Don again and talking to Jennifer and Nicole and Nancy and meeting new people. Well, I, April and I, we had met before in the therapy world. Yes. So, <laughs> I know, I see. Yeah. Yeah. so we, that's, we were talking about that and it's like, oh, that's where we know each other from. So just from that, because you just never know who you're going to meet and connect with. So, so that's my new story and oh. my new endeavor. Okay. So, I'm going to say, well, let me open it up. Does anyone have any questions for Dion? Are you on LinkedIn? I am on LinkedIn. Are you on LinkedIn for this? Yes, I have established my business. It's, it, it's, uh, um, it can connect through with Dion Robinson also, but it's under Tandem Legacy Transport also oh, in there. there. So yeah, I was like, okay, let me get LinkedIn. Let me do this, you know, just trying to do different things. And, and I appreciate, I haven't Hi. changed it yet. Okay, Hi, I just, just talk today. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, constructive criticism to help you grow. I mean, nobody should take it. Well, why is she telling me this? I've always believed, hey, you're trying to help me do better so whatever I can do to help you and you and whatever I will try I'm not mm -hmm. great at it but that's what my goal is and go from there so well, thank you did you did you have I'm, I'm, yeah I did have a question I'm wondering where you um help companies get their products out so do you own fleets or hire drivers or how how, how does your piece of the, the puzzle, the, the transportation industry work? Yeah, I don't I don't own any trucks. I'm the one I will go and find the truck. So it's these things, it's called lanes. It's basically which way I got a gift from you know Indianapolis to Cincinnati, Ohio. So finding the truck. So depending, there are uh, the dry vans and uh, reefers, which are refrigerated trucks. There's the flatbeds, um, box trucks, cargo vans. I mean, there's so many different ways. Yeah. And intermodal, uh, intramodal um, yeah. transportation. So it's just finding out. So I make sure, you know, that the truck that they have their insurance that needs to me have every time it's like oh they could have had it then but maybe they lost it and i'm supposed to i need to find that out you know i'm the one in charge of uh their baby their freight is their right. baby so i'm, I'm the new babysitter <laughs> <laughs> cargo sitter and i gotta get it from indianapolis to cincinnati so i gotta find that truck if it's refrigerated it needs to be at this temperature Got to make sure about that. And then, okay, it made it. Everything's safe and sound. Okay, it's signed. They send the um, bill of laden to me, which is the, the documentation saying everything's good. So basically, I get paid through that way. It's just a commission, basically, mm -hmm. of it. So it's just finding all these different things, but it's just finding my niche right. <laughs> of what I... Uh, can do right now, but there's different areas. I mean, I mean, you can work in uh, for healthcare products, for lumber, for steel, for work uh, drayage, which is just from the ships to the warehouse. It's like a one mile transportation thing. That's the drayage part. I mean, there's so many different things out there that can happen, but you don't want to spread yourself all over. Stick with one to get to know and then go from there. So I haven't got to that point yet. So, but that's what I want to find and, and get to. So. Cool. Did I answer your question? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <Never mind. laughs> so when you first told us about this in yes. the Ignite um, group, um, I worked for a company called uh, Let Vance that um, uh, 
light bulbs, light bulbs mm -hmm. and light fixtures. They manufactured it and they would have a distributor that would order them. And then, I'm oh, sorry, our logistics department would schedule them on the trucks. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes the truck gets lost. Sometimes, you know, they don't have enough people to make the delivery, so it takes longer, you know, so that might, you know, that, I don't know if that would be like a headache, <laughs> you know, or something, but well, that, in last minute, and, you know. And that would be my job. If yeah. something happened, you know, weather, you know, it's winter time is coming, yes. so sometimes things get delayed. I mean, things can't be helped. Right. But I'm in charge of, hey, this is what happened to this truck. Okay, I'm in charge of, all right, let me see who can take over that delivery. Who can come in. Who can come in. Or sick or somebody might get sick. Right. So, you know, the appliances, you know, for like companies like Leadvance, you know, might be, you know, another niche, you know, or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, just like that, just talking like, I mean, they just might need, a uh, small load exactly. transfer every, and that's fine. Small to medium businesses is also who I'm looking at um, to get it's going. Like a Walmart or Target or something like that probably that, like, has. Well, <laughs> she, like, you had kind of said they probably have their their. Training. Yeah, they they have like sometimes they have their own logistics area. You know, but their I program. Right the no, well, no, I agree, but they go to the big ones. Like for me, just starting out, like, yeah. I know, I'm going <laughs> to, I know small. who this is and then progress to that. Yeah. Small to medium for me gotcha. now, not saying, Hey, I could be like, you know what? I'm going for the big guns next year. You know, who knows? But to what, get your feet wet. Exactly. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. So did you, you had a question? Do you um, just do land driving? You don't do international shipping? No, I haven't got into that. No, but you will eventually get into international shipping. I, I'm not going to say no, <laughs> but you have to. There's the but you will can go customs. In, you will go into Canada though. That's since that's on the ground, or you just say U.S. You can go into camp from uh, a freight broker here can have trucks leave from here to go into Canada, but I cannot uh, get it going from Canada to yeah, bring okay. here. Okay. It has Thanks to be a so. freight broker in Canada, so. but yeah, I can start here to go into Canada oh, or Mexico. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Why would people need your service? I mean, UPS could pick it up, so they wouldn't need you. Are you talking about big truck ships? Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. 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 And it can be the small ones too. I mean, it can be the cargo vans or box vans because UPS. I mean, they're actually, you know, those are employees of UPS. And they're looking for people now. I mean, I saw like with Amazon, they were a thousand dollars sign on bonus, especially with the uh, holidays coming. But there's owner operators, like one person who uh, we were in the choir together. I just connected with her. She's like, Yeah, I just started a box truck business. Oh, wow. That's interesting. So she can get that going from Amazon, going from um, may maybe Walmart. I mean, just smaller things. It just, fun. Yeah, it just depends on what's needed and things like that. So the owner operator ones are definitely needed. They're still needed, um, especially since baby boomers have retired and a lot of them were truck drivers. The truck driver has retired. <laughs> and they're still, but 30% of the, the carriers have retired um, over the last two, three years. Because just um, COVID, yeah. just just the whole situation, and so the supply chain that started that one thing. The whole shipping got caught in the canal, and that that happened. Um, what is it? The railroad kind of issue. Now the Mississippi River with the ships that the drought that's happening with that. So much is going on, just boom, 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 that is affecting the supply chain. That's why a lot of the stuff is going up because, well, uh, gas also, diesel. Yeah. Yeah. So the cost yeah. for that is becoming higher. And I mean, just everything is just piling on, compounding the whole situation and with inflation too. So, so who do you know that owns a company that could potentially need, they might not be the logistics, they might be, they maybe have somebody or something. I mean, that's kind of what I, my thought would be. Okay, you know, yes, you want the logistics, you want the 
the shipping person, but who, in our mind, how many of us know a logistics? Maybe not, but we might know somebody who owns a company or somebody that has that, you know. Yeah, they work you know, in the warehouse somebody. part, you know, like, oh, I know somebody who works in a, a warehouse, you know, I don't know what they do, but. So, Nicole, you're, I'm not trying to put you on the spot, yeah. but do you have connections back at Lead Advance? Um, I don't know about Lead Advance, but I'm also thinking about GE Appliances because I work there too, but I tell you, when I worked in customer service, I cannot tell you how many calls missing loads you know this this person is, so it's a very needed service you know well we well you know you've got an opening the next day they need their light bulbs <laughs> you know so um right. so let me think let me um let me see what i can let me do because you know like you said you know i i guess with, with you like i think of like even um mom and pop short stores like yeah. this one sure like like a like a mom and pop like um you know, that sell appliances, you know, sell like washers and dryers, you know, or something like that. You know, you never know, you know, don't think, you know, like Home Depot that they have it all set. You know, I know they run into problems. Oh, you know, I, I know. Trust me, I, I know, I can't say that the yeah. bigger ones are always off limits, but I know. You want to start Start the, the small to medium. There <laughs> are start thinking, you know, there businesses. are a right. lot of yeah. mom and pop shops yes. around, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, and hadn't even that. thought about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, good point. Well, is, are you looking for the companies or are you looking for the transportation? People? Well, I do Probably both. Right. So you're looking for both. I, I'm looking for both. And it does, I, I'm not like hiring them. It's just saying, hey, this is just connecting them. Be like, hey, this is what I have. Maybe I have a box truck. Be like, oh, well, such and such. So I know it's in my um, CRM. And I'm like, oh, such and such has a box truck. Hey, can you do this run? I can call them personally mm -hmm. and I give them business. Mm -hmm. And now there's what we have load boards that I, I might not even know the person be like, hey, just clicking, emailing, texting, be like, hey, we run this load. What what would you charge? And, you know, just kind of negotiating that way. But it's always better to get to know your carriers, be like, Hey, you know, if all you guys drove trucks, be like, well, I'm going to go with Dawn first, you know, mm -hmm. she does a reefer, yeah. be like, hey, hey, can you take it to <laughs> here? Everybody, like, Dawn's back. Everybody. <laughs> I know. It's because of it's her birthday. Yeah, know. that's right. <laughs> but, um, Leticia? I know, she didn't call me back. Oh, okay. Well, now that I understand better, I can share with her what it is that you're doing. So that would be helpful. Um, Tisha visited with us last fall. Um, she's my niece in Atlanta who once lived here in Indianapolis. And one of her businesses, she has several entrepreneurial endeavors, but her and her brothers um, have moving trucks. Oh, so, okay. Um, Dion remembered that Tisha had visited uh, Collaborating Connections and asked, hey, you know, can you put me in contact? So I, I, I just wrote uh, uh, a text message. Gee, I'm going to Just wrote a text message to connect yes. them. But now that I understand even more, I'll circle back and make sure that uh, yeah. she understands. It's always frustrating when you're trying to put people together and they're not quite, yes. nobody, you know, one party's working on the other one's not. Yeah. Yeah. But good. yeah, very exciting. All right. Any other questions for Dion? All righty. Do you have hey. a business cards? I I have it on. I have digital business cards. Oh, All right. Right. All right. All right. Good. I, I'll, I know how to get this one. This one. Go ahead, Doug. It's so. good. Nicole. Hey. Are you ready to introduce yourself and your business? I am ready. Woo I am ready. Um, I am Nicole Williams, and I am honored to be at the end. Uh, Executive Assistant to Ms. Jennifer Johnson with TTR Networking um, since 2020. 2020. I know. We've known each other yeah, by since 2010, yeah, maybe, or sooner. You're, you're probably like the first people I met here. So, because we had, well, really, you know, um, I've met some people, but we had moved here from um, Louisville, Kentucky, and um, we were like that big. Um, <laughs> this is my system. <laughs> Thank you, Bear. Thank you, Bear. Thank you, Bear. I don't know her, 
everybody. Is your name Lainey? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a real um, so, um, <laughs> you're welcome. So I am, um, oh gosh, I'm a blogger, um, social media strategist, and um, I love to um, help people share value with their clients and prospects. And I have found um, since 2020, um, having your blog, your website is so valuable um, in your ideal client, which we call avatars. So I teach uh, a live blogging class and I have a course on uh, Tony Robbins and uh, Dean Graciosi's site. And uh, so I'm so excited. But um, I just, I love the networking. Before um, TTR Network, I really didn't quite understand the networking. Um, and I love this because it's so much more than just networking. You know, like the lady said, you know, it's building relationships and, and just the journey and the groups and uh, the people that we have met. It's just so honored. So I don't know if I'm rambling, but. Um, <laughs> You know, she's just funny because she tells that story about, and I remember the day she visited our North Side group. It was right before COVID. It was. And I think, yeah. I think I just assumed you knew what you were supposed to do. I said, Nicole, or, or somebody called on you. And, and I remember you talking and I don't, I, until you tell the story now, I didn't realize <laughs> How nervous you were, and how oh, I was a nervous wreck. Like a so deer sweet. in the headlights, kind right. of. And you were so sweet because, um, so I had a job. I had a nine to six job in Westfield, and so Jennifer's like, "Oh, come to Northside. We start at eight. And I said, "Well, I probably have to leave at like eight forty-five, so I can book it <laughs> to my job because you can't be one minute late." Yeah, oh, yeah, no. yeah. Um, but uh, so you know, and it was really cool because it was at a restaurant, and it was like a big horseshoe, and I mean, it was packed. We had a, we have a big. There were probably group. like twenty people. They were so nice and chatted with some, and and then I noticed that people got up and introduced themselves. <laughs> and I had not prepared her. And for with, that. The, with the <laughs> elevator pitches, and I thought, wow, this is so nice. Oh wow, you know, there's a lawyer, there's a chiropractor. That's wonderful. You know, like <laughs> never thinking that me all the way on the end. <laughs> you know what to say because at the time I was in a job that I was really happy with you know and I couldn't think of like one positive thing except I gotta leave at 8 45 because it's not late. <laughs> I know you said some things that were great but I remember everybody kind of like what is she what doing? Is talking about <laughs> exactly I know you know Sal was thinking I'm like really proud and then I sit down and then, because I, because at that time with Kimmy, I was we were working on a book. We were, it was before I took my blogging class. It was right around that time that um, that the waiting opened up for it. And it was just so funny because I'm like, well, I want to be a writer, and I and we're writing a book, and we're doing that, you know. So, Literally, I probably did the hand, and it was so yeah, funny. And there was a lawyer, and you know, so I sit down, and he goes, "Wait." <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yes. I mean, it was so funny. So I stand back up and he's like, well, what kind of writing do you do? You know, and in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, well, Kimmy told me not to say it's like teachers, but you should watch it. Okay, now I'm like telling everybody that's like, hi, Kimmy. Um, but it's like <laughs> behind the scenes, you know, from like preschoolers. Workers. Yeah, yeah. of a daycare, you know, oh, just, yeah. just things. Oh, I mean, we didn't do it for them, but it was like things. We should, she didn't want anybody else to get the idea of it. I'm oh, yeah, like, like in a room full of people who don't know, they're going to take that idea. <laughs> right, <laughs> but, <instead. Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just so funny. You know, so our thing was to help moms and dads at the end of the day, you know, you know, yeah. what, what did your child, you know, because at one and a half to three years old, they're not going to say much. They're just going to smile, you know. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so anyway, so it was just so funny. I remember standing up there and he's like, well, what kind of writer are you? And I'm like, <laughs> and Susan Sparks, does it get worse? Susan Sparks, who is yes, like a writer, writer, copywriter, yeah. copywriter, you know, and somewhere I was like, lifestyle. I don't know where it came from. You know, I'm like, because then I was thinking lifestyle and relationships. I'm like, boy, this is taking so long. People just, you know, just, you know, it's so funny. And I was just so happy with it. And I just like sat back down, but he looked like bewildered. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>
But I didn't realize that move? she hadn't really just known what she was getting into that going. day. But then she never, she came, kept coming back. I did. So she didn't leave nope. and she got rid of that job she hated. Yeah. And Period. so she's been helping us for a couple of years. <laughs> and so yep, she's, well, you're, you're a great asset too. Cause I know she helps a lot of people. A lot of people. And we're, so good. yeah, she's done a great job. So. so so who are you looking to be connected with now? Oh my gosh, I'm looking to be connected. Um so so there's the blogging classes that I teach. You know, if you know somebody who is like struggling, you know, um maybe they want to write blogs, you know, I help I'm learning that's a niche. I'm helping them write their, you know, if their stories. Because the, the blog, the whole idea is you have your ideal clients and um you want to, or your prospect, if you find a problem that they have and you um, solve it, you know, it puts you, it earns your trust, you know, right, so right. you build that relationship and then maybe they have a service. Maybe there's a service you can help them. Maybe they can help you. So, um, so really like anybody who's kind of like struggling um, with the send help cards, I call them the mini blogs, you know, mm -hmm. where you stay the top of mind, you know, so there's that, um, but just, just, <laughs> Okay. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> do you have a question? I do. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, um, have you uh did a, a course like she did? I have a course. You, I mean, like specifically well, like, on okay. the course, and now she she's the master offering. No, that's what I mean. Like yeah, you're you're I offering. Course. Okay, you're offering. Yeah. Do you do anything on like YouTube? Uh, wait, Any wait. vlogging? No, she's not. Oh, I she did so Zoom. Okay. She did TikTok. TikTok too. Yeah, she was. Yes. A whole TikTok. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I got my first TikTok. 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 And I had to tape on Zoom because on the T on the TV on the <laughs> on the TV. Yeah, it's like on the TV. Yeah, it's on the TV. Yeah, on the TV. Yeah, it's 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 on the TV. Yeah, one thing, though, I would just say really quick, I've been trying to tell her, there's so many people out there that need somebody to do social media stuff, do help posting with that, and you do a lot of that for us. I don't know if you realize, but I'm I'm off having, uh, no, I don't get my nails done or anything, but I'm off doing something, and there's something being posted, I'm like, I mean, oh, yeah, Nicole, yeah, but I mean, she does that, she does, and she could blog for people. Mm -hmm. Um, but but you do offer the course that shows yes. them how to do it for themselves. Yeah, there are videos. So. Well, and the idea with the color course is like before <laughs> before um because when I took when I took the class, the Elite Blog Academy, it was so funny when there were like probably a thousand of us in there, and we were so excited. And you know, in our minds, we're like, oh, we're just gonna blog, we're gonna write things. <laughs> but um, Ruth Zukav was like, okay, before you can start this course, you know, we start on Monday, it's like Friday or whatever. And she's like, okay, you guys are going to need a website. You're going to need a domain. Name, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I don't even know what I would want it to be. <laughs> I don't right, even know the exactly. name, you know, so wow. we struggled, we struggled. And then she told us to put it on one platform and we put it on the, uh, we put it on, <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy. But anyway, great teacher <laughs> after that. Um, but my course teaches helps you come up with your blog name and um like there's like an about me on there you know so we want to yes. you don't want to say too much you don't you know you don't you know the glazed yeah. eyes right yeah exactly. <laughs> um so i help you um find your purpose your mission so they're really 10 essentials and then you can invest in your blog and by then you'll save money and frustration that many of us that, that's really amazing because sometimes I'm, like right now a long time ago when i wasn't too busy yet yes. i said i wanted to write a blog and i'll tell you now even they take it. I mean, I'm an immigrant, right? So I moved to this country and I want to write a blog for people that will immigrate to the States. It's really hard. Like, you know, many, many things, like even just buying a car, which will help buy. I mean, that's very, you know, like finding a friend, finding yes. how to be here and be happy, you know, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But one day, you know, so I will help. I will give you help. <laughs> so, well, I, have, write it. I have to write it. Because I'm not writing <laughs> I would love. Oh, thank you. Yes, definitely. Uh, yeah. Trading cards. Trading cards. Oh, I want to answer. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it is pretty. Oh, she's giving you another. Oh no, she doesn't. Never mind. Ignore me, good one. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. Look at her. Way. She just flips it out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's kind of <laughs> thing. Oh, oh, it's okay. Good. Oh, yes. Um, okay. Keep passing over there to <laughs> the person <laughs> yes. who is bearing down. Thank you. Okay, oh, sorry. Did, did you pass? Okay. That's okay. Lady Okay, thanks. That's it. Here you go. Right. Isn't it? Do you have one? I like this. Thank you. Yeah. Do you have I, one? Thank you. <laughs> no, oh, do I have one? Yeah, she gave me one. Oh, yeah. What are you taking? <laughs> I thought it was the same thing. I thought you were passing it. I'm sorry. She's a comedy routine waiting to happen. That's cool. I'm sorry. Okay, that's a lot of luck. Do we have any more questions on the call? No, no, we're not having a timer. <laughs> Nancy! Yeah. Lady Bear. Oh, yeah. No. I knew I know you, but I didn't know what you really did. I, you were just there. I was, <laughs> just like, I was wow. no, honestly, because I was like. Okay, I see kind of what she does, but I didn't. I didn't. I No, but I knew I knew you blogged. Yeah. I knew that, but I didn't know <laughs> that she's... you offered. You know, you had yes. a course. I didn't know you would write for other people. I did not know that see, part. And that's why we should talk. And even to one ones outside of us. I know. We didn't do that. Exactly. I know. Even for coffee or something. Right. Definitely do. I mean, obviously, we have people outside the area, but if, even if you can do a Zoom with one of us, it's really valuable. But so we all know. I do want to acknowledge uh, Lady Bear. Yay. Yay. And I'm not going to ask to introduce yes. your business <laughs> but but thanks for being with us no you're welcome <laughs> um i am a senior in high school uh, congratulations thank you <laughs> it's, a, it's a difficult time it's like yes. things are moving so quickly we are in trimesters which is weird because no other high school is like that in indiana at least not for me i feel like you were in school that's in trimesters but um we're ending our first one and then we have two more left. And it's just so weird because it feels like we just started our senior year. We immediately, like September maybe it was, or August, we immediately went into passing downs. And it's just like, you know, you have to start ordering and just like start thinking about where you're gonna apply, what you wanna mm -hmm. do, just like all of that. And it was just overwhelming. And I had an idea of what I wanted to do um outside of high school um right now I work at um thank you from Rose <laughs> School at Graham Park not think of it <laughs> and um it's sort of like a daycare but they also have like curriculums for like the kids to learn and just like simple math and reading skills and um, it's just very cool. And I work there two hours a week, um, which is just like one day. Um, <laughs> but she's it's very busy. She's, <laughs> yeah, she's, she's thinking things busy. like yeah. college, college, <laughs> college. <laughs> <laughs> Can you speak? No. <laughs> Sorry. College We're done talking. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, we hang around each other a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> We were like with each other the whole day. Um, <laughs> but um, after high school, um, I did want to become a writer, um, a novelist, mm -hmm. and I took creative writing. And oh my gosh, my creative writing teacher, she's so sweet. Her name is Miss Matthews. She's like yay tall. She's in her like seventies, <laughs> but she's absolutely adorable. And Will will agree with me. Like he loves her to death. And like she's so sweet, and she really taught the class well, and she made it like a step by step process. Like first you come up with the characters, and then you decide, okay, what do you want the story to be about? And she wouldn't just be like, okay, just come up with a story and write it. Like, no, she would give you like prompts and be like, choose one, have it, and like. Maybe you could be creative writing teacher. Maybe. But um, I wanted to become an English and teacher, writer. and then like over the summer when I have time for me, I'll be like writing books. Like, you could start your own master course. Yeah. There you go. For creative writing. <gasps> cool. 
Good. I'm glad to hear that. This is exciting. I don't know. I just felt like clapping. <laughs> the cool. senior year. I mean, that's a lot to yeah. deal with. Yeah. I mean, to, yeah. and then I have an 11 year old brother, and he looks at me and he's like, "Do you have to leave?" And my sister is doing online college, and I'm like. Yeah, but I don't want to go far. Like, I want to be able to see you, but also, like, yeah. be at college. So, I'm looking at IUPUI. Good. That's okay. like close yeah. to home. Cool. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, now that you have cheerleaders. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Best wishes. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Nancy. Are you ready to introduce yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Nancy Besley, IHC Special Benefits, Health Insurance, Medicare, Life Insurance, Dog and Cat Insurance. What else? Supplemental products that pay you that include Aflac and there's a few other companies, Snap Gender and stuff that would be paying you. So you have your short-term health insurance that pays the doctors and the hospitals, and then the supplements pay you and send you the money that you can use for what you want. I am right now Medicare has started. So if you know any people over 65, they have to call me. I'm not allowed, if you gave me their number, I'm not allowed to call them. Oh. So they have to call me. <coughs> Is that new or no? It's always been. Oh, no, I don't. Know. Yeah, okay. don't ask me how the TV does it. You know, Joe's on the TV, <laughs> giving his funny. number yeah. off every day, and that's they can call him, but they can't call me as an independent agent. So I don't know. But yes, Nancy Best the IHC. All right, and I saw that you did follow up with the okay. mm -hmm. So. Hopefully, hopefully something yeah. comes from that. I'll, I'll kind of prod them again, but I'll give them a week or so. Yeah. Hit them again. Season's <clears throat> over. I was impressed you could send the same text to two people. I thought that was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how I connect. You, you didn't send me to a runway, runway, or <laughs> referral. <laughs> <front line. laughs> I, I've got, I still need to put information in referral runway, but I didn't want. I didn't want you to miss out on the contact uh -huh. with this time. So, so I went ahead and did that. Yep. Thank you. I so, have a question. Yes. Um, so, let's see, today's 18. So, yesterday, did you have an event? Yeah. Forging for. I did. How did that go? No, we didn't. Did you didn't go? No. You weren't supposed to say that. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm sorry that we were unable oh, to go. No. Why were we unable to go? What did we do? <laughs> but what is that about? <laughs> okay, no, no, no. Um, the one last mean? night was about foraging for your pets so that they work for their food and they just don't walk over to their bowl and eat it. There's a term called contra freeloading where animals prefer to work for their food oh. than just walk to a bowl and eat it. So tell us, you're a, an animal lover, obviously. Yeah. And what do you have? You have birds, right? I have three birds and I have two dogs. Oh, wow. I had four birds, but one died. Oh, awesome. We're still waiting for the knee proxy, but they are thinking it is heavy metal poisoning. Oh, oh. Too much um, the blood supply. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> too I much. Oh, no. <laughs> no, what about so, brains? And um, I have no idea why lead, I said that. <laughs> lead poisoning is usually in I'm sorry. toys. She said know? heavy metal. She yeah, said that. She did. And oh, the they toys are. have lead in it, and then they're, they lick it and stuff, and they ingest it. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry. So yeah. I'm waiting for the end, for the actual results. Uh -huh. yeah. But Nancy is animal smart about everything. She's got, okay, so sorry. <laughs> How do they work for their food? What do they have to do? Housework or something? <laughs> 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 no. I mean, for dogs, they have they sell those balls where you put kibble in. Yeah. And then they have to kick the ball to get the kibble out. Yeah. You'd be surprised. Is how it long? a Kong? Like a Kong? Yeah. Or they have other like they look like a dice, but there's holes in them. 
And you put, if you're feeding dry kibble, I mean, there's a lot of different things. Or you can just take a water bottle, drill some holes in it, dump a couple pieces of uh, kibble in there, and then they kick it around. You have to watch it. They don't start chewing it. But a lot of times, it, they'll kick it around and get it, all the stuff out. I mean, you'd be surprised how long they will do it. And my dogs chew they Big or small, it doesn't matter. They just chew things or up they and have tear it up. Puzzle. Well, there's another one. I mean, if you don't mind them making a big mess, you could hide it in like um, I have egg cartons I do every so often. It gets messy because then they rip them up to get to the kibble. But it takes them rather than five minutes at a bowl, it'll take them about a half hour to I just put the kibble in the milk carton and then put paper in it or put the kibble in the paper and then they have to rip through the paper into the milk cart through the milk carton to get to the kibble. But they can smell it and they're gonna do it. And the other one I do with the dogs wow. is I take them and I hide them into different places. There's toys that you put, I put a cookie in and I hide it on the stairs or hide it around the corner. And they find and all of a sudden they come running back with their little oh, treat in their mouth. You know, oh, look what I got. <laughs> so, oh, okay. That's pretty interesting stuff. So. Yeah. That's really cool. Nothing but a picture. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we should just take our friends to her and have her check them out. We should, she should be your new pet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think she's qualified. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it can't the same thing. Or the other one is lick mats. Have you ever seen those lick mats? Mm -hmm. they, they sell these little mats that are probably about this big. And do you feed wet food sometimes? No. Every. Every so often? Yeah. Every so you would spread it on the lick mat. Put in the freezer. Then you put it down, and then that, that instead of five minutes or one minute when they inhale it out of the bowl, they have to lick it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to be somebody that picked up anything. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, they eat it. They lick it off, and after that, she's like, <laughs> <laughs> that made me work. <laughs> I mean, it's just contra freeloading. They prefer to work. You might not think it is. Interesting. But. That's cool. Look at some exercise. Mm -hmm. and I was hoping it was the housework, though. Make, make, <laughs> make, 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 <laughs> you're going to get the vacuum pull the vacuum <laughs> on while it's going. Like, oh, this will work. Okay. When your animals start doing housework, let me know how. Yeah, I haven't even seen Caesar the dog whisperer work that one out yet. So, I don't know. <laughs> Any any other questions for Nancy? Okay. Um, let me oh, see. Well, did the event go well? How did it go? Nobody goes. <gasps> it's the marketing subject. The market. You might hear from her because she's going to check to see what happens. <laughs> so it's like you can hear from her. But the marketing that they do, they have the rooms and they have a lot of um, events there, but. I'm not sure how other people are marketing because we're marketing it all. That's how I remember it. And it was a pink one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very nice. <clears throat> go ahead. Go ahead, Don. Did you want to? Um, I'm just going to do my quick, my launch. Um, yes. I mentioned earlier, I, I've Good. been a uh, leader of Collaborating Connections exactly. for five years. I'm a travel agent. Um, I, I, my day job, I am a contract auditor, but um, with all of my connections to all of my wonderful TPR family, oh. I got encouraged to take one of my passions to a next level and <laughs> happened to be in the beta program, in, in Nicole's beta program for her blogging class. And um, cheerful chocolate spirit was then born yeah. from that. So um, now I've told Nicole <laughs> I had intended to launch this earlier this year. I, I got scared and put it off. And when we were talking about doing this event, this uh, five-year anniversary birthday celebration, this visitors' night. Um, the, of the feedback I got again, and tonight is National Chocolate Cupcake Day. <laughs> it's a sign, Dawn. Yes. Tonight, today <laughs> is the day that you them. ought to launch. Yes. So here I am, doing it scared. Yes, still very nervous, but I wanted to share um, 
the about me that I wrote hey, that, that Nicole um, helped guide me to. Okay. Um, I'm a chocolate lover and addict. There, I said. I'm not only a, I'm not on any multi-step program to cure my habit. I'm embracing my passion and I want to shout about it from the mountaintops. Since childhood, chocolate has been a deeply satisfying comfort to my whole being. It brings me joy. It makes me smile. It gives me energy while at the same time it soothes my soul. Just like a really good friend, I believe that chocolate truly understands everything about me and helps me be my best self. As a result of this lifelong, mutually adoring relationship with the smooth, dark delight, I have become a cheerful chocolate spirit. I've never been shy about my love affair with the dark delight. In fact, I've flaunted it in social media <laughs> and proclaimed my addiction to friends and strangers alike many a time. However, it wasn't until my relationship was threatened by a diabetes diagnosis that I seriously had to ponder if we would be entering a breakup phase. <laughs> this consideration was a true struggle for me. I agonized, prayed, and researched to find an answer. And finally, I found that I can still enjoy my lifelong indulgence and maintain my health sim simultaneously. In this blog, I will enthusiastically connect with other like-minded spirits to share joy, creativity, and celebration of the bond with the delightful, dark deliciousness that is chocolate. So I hope you enjoy the rantings, recipes, writings, and quips of this 50-some-year-old wife, mom, grandma, who just recently discovered that chocolate is my superpower and not my kryptonite. So with cheerful chocolate spirit, um, uh, there are a lot of people who struggle with uh, thinking it, of chocolate as decadent and something that should be avoided. Um, I treat it as something to be celebrated and enjoyed. And um, I want people to, to think of it positively. Um, I want to share the recipes, whether someone has a, a health situation that limits their consumption of it, or uh, whether they're, they just want to know how to enjoy it uninhibited. Um, I, I want to share uh, poems and cartoons and uh, my favorite quote that, that I came across, uh, and, and I think I alluded to it there, is that, uh, you know, in relationships and dealing with people, sometimes folks can be challenging. And someone sent me a, a, a quote that said, chocolate doesn't ask silly questions. <laughs> chocolate always uh -huh. understands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always there. It's always there. It's, it's like a good friend. So, um, cheerful chocolate spirit. There are, um, I have a, a link for an online store that has the logo, the cheerful chocolate spirit logo on shirts and caps and bags and so Ooh, forth. Cool. Um, for those people, for my avatars that, uh, that share the love of chocolate, um, that want to learn how to celebrate it and enjoy it on a different level. Those are the people that I'm looking forward to being connected to, um, who will, who can go to my social media, the Cheerful Chocolate Spirit Facebook page and see the recipes and see the poems and the quips and, um, and feel good. And, you know, whether they start their day with it, end their day with it, whatever, that, uh, that they, get a smile and a sense of comfort out of it. So that's what it's all about. And I thank you all for letting me launch yeah, this year. Yeah. 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 I'm very excited. I don't know if anybody has any questions. I mentioned that there's a Facebook page, so I'm going to invite you to 
Check yes. it out on Facebook and uh, Please do. like and follow. Yes. Share it with That's others. Amazing. There are going to be some um, some opportunities for some to win some prizes and, and to talk about you know some of your favorite chocolate moments, chocolate treats, and and um, and kind of communicate. It's not just all me putting out what I know, but people get a chance to kind of. Uh, contribute to the conversation and share. Very exciting. We've got to do that for the um, when we do her video cast. Yeah, we'll have to make that a big. We'll have to do that very soon. Okay, because it makes sense with your with your launch and everything. Yes. yes. So, can I just yes, really please. quickly? This did not print well. This is the Westfield networking. <laughs> is having open networking on Friday morning. Yay. So if you know anybody or yourself, so just look at. <laughs> I'm like, it doesn't work. It, I, I had already printed like that. I don't ten of them, but something else. They're like, what? It didn't look like that. I yes, I hated that. So it's okay. it's Westfield networking. So I don't know, Nancy or. If you want to read it out for our. So we have open networking on Friday morning at the Haverstick, which is Friday the twenty first. <laughs> Um, it's from 8 to 9 15. Our Westfield group has started doing that once a month. I just want everybody to know that. And then um, we are also part of the tricks to make a net networking a treat. So if you're not, this is actually just gives the basics of it. And then here's like the, um, here's like, here is the, uh, it's like a flyer that uh, Ryan, it's next Wednesday. So I just want, you know, we're all, bless you. bless you, yes, we're all part of a lot of networking, um, a, a lot of us network in multi, multi, mm -hmm. multiple groups is what I'm trying to say. So here in Indianapolis area, you could be part of TTR, you could be part of H7, yep. you could be in the BNI or whatever you want to do. And you can do them all very easily. This event on <laughs> Wednesday, October 26th is called Tricks to Make Networking a Treat, which is a combination of the Inspire Small. I cut that off too. Darn it. InspireSmall.biz, um, Whiteboard Learning, TTR. G and oh guys networking lunch group uh, rainmakers yes yeah. so you might already have heard about them or uh, heard heard about this event the um like like the BNIs and some, they don't you typically get into the partnership but we're these whatever number of groups um yeah, got together register like uh, they have over a hundred now registered yes. so yes. we went they had was one in the spring in March. That long ago? It was in March, yeah. Time is going by. Janice Ruiz was there. Mm -hmm. You were so, there. Janice Ruiz, were you there? Were you at that one? Nancy, I don't, I don't think, think Nancy was, was busy because I think I uh, thought that would be great. Deb Miller. So yeah. it was nice. There yeah. were, you know, so it's at Launch Fishers from three to five on that day. And I would encourage you, yes. you don't have to even be a member of any of the groups, right. but we're all. Yes promoting it and it's awesome you know you're gonna meet a yeah and there's i don't believe there's an organized um format necessarily excuse me ryan henry and i thought he was going to be here tonight so he's not but um excuse me he um has like a little bit of a program and launch fishers has been awesome for the other event they did and then this but you know it's nice when we can all collaborate yeah on these things so i just wanted to make sure tonight that i did remind everybody of that so if um you have any questions on ttr or um, obviously those of us who are already connected are going to be reaching out to those that are not and um, definitely reaching out um one thing i would say i, I always talk about being an insurance agent but truly nancy cannot reach out to anybody right yeah. <laughs> Senior citizens. Can you see oh, yeah. something and then I call them and I feel I mean just and it's to protect the beneficiary, yeah. the Medicare recipient yeah. is is why they do oh, that. Yeah. But it literally is a situation where you have to tell your contact to reach out to me. Yeah, because if you call me or message me and said, Hey, call this person about Medicare, sorry, I can't. Make it. 
and it's the is it CMS? What does that stand for? Central Medicare something something. But they literally she can get her her licenses and the stuff revoked. So you don't want to put her in that position. But just I, I would just say right now and. For Nancy to even be here, a lot of people duck out during the annual. They're gone. You know, I mean, they don't. So I'm very happy that we got people who are committed. Well, that's the truth. I mean, you knew it was going to be a networking opportunity, but a lot of people would be just, I'm chained to my desk during this time, you know. And so, I'm exposed to a lot of people that are 65 over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. Yeah, if they have, if they haven't had anyone to talk to about their Medicare. Yeah, yeah since yeah. we, you know, as a physical therapist, we I work in an outpatient facility, and um, I still find because you know therapists now we do a lot of work. We we even do it too much. <laughs> we we yeah. uh, I, I we always kind of like see if they're covered for physical therapy and Medicare coverage is good if they actually you know, process it. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So, thank you, Don. Oh, you're you welcome. Great job. Don, I do want to mention for our members who weren't able to be here tonight, I always love to share their names and information um, just in case anybody is interested in following up with a one on one. We have Robert Haley, who is our mortgage specialist. He's got over 25 years of, of background and experience in mortgage banking. So he's very good with talking to individuals about the process of preparing mm -hmm. to get a mortgage, um, doing a refinance, uh, whether it's young people buying their first home or seniors who are considering down, downsizing and moving. He's uh, trained in, in all the programs and uh, he's now working for Old National Bank here in Indianapolis. So Robert Haley is our a uh, trusted mortgage specialist. We also have Stacy Schamberger Smith, and she's affiliated with Tava Lifestyle Products, and they are uh, natural health products, vitamins, uh, energy booster, um, a natural coffee. Um, she just went to, I believe, a national conference. Oh, she's so, yeah, she's and, and she said they were going to be releasing some new something. So I assume when she comes back next week, she'll be sharing those details with us. Stacy is our member out of Georgia. Um, I mentioned Bryn Cochran, who is our auto home and commercial insurance specialist. Bryn is my insurance agent. Thank you. And I absolutely love her. She sent out a message just the other day um, that her company, Shelter Insurance, is going to be using a new process to um, evaluate um, premiums for their clients and et cetera. And she's like, you know, while she doesn't control that process, she wanted all of her clients to have the heads up that this is what Shelter was doing now. And if they have any questions, to so make sure that they call her. So she's an individual who definitely goes above and beyond to take care of her clientele, um, to, to get them good rates, to give them excellent customer service. And sometimes that's, that's the balance. Um, you may not, she may not offer the best rates, but her service certainly cannot be beaten. Mm -hmm. So yes. um, I wanted to make sure to mention Bryn and uh, Robert and Stacy. And is there anybody else there? We're looking forward to some former members coming <laughs> back mm. and sharing with us chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that their name is still in referral this way, so it would be oh so easy. <laughs> so um, I think that that's about it. I want to say to our listening audience, as well as everyone here, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thanks for giving a listening ear to what everyone else is doing, because from this, this is when you can give that warm, robust referral when you feel like you really know something right. about exactly. uh, another person and what they do. And you see the, the enthusiasm they have for what they do. 
and um, and you certainly want to connect people to knowledgeable, uh, responsible uh, business business people. So thanks again for taking your time, everyone. Take some of these cupcakes because if you all leave all of this with me, I gotta eat it. <laughs> Um, thank you all so much. Yeah, I'm going to give you one of these, but I, I always got to tell people this is an old one, so you can see though we've got. Um, but the website, just go to the website, to, but but yeah, this we'll is the best group. Yeah. So I would just say I don't know if you're working for 